Do you ever feel like you can't depend on no one for nothing at any point in time and you just got to do it all yourself? What's up my good vibe DJ tribe? Do you feel like people are trying to kill your vibes? Well, it would seem this next Ask Kilmut viewer feels that way. And this is what they had to say. Sometimes I feel like this rave scene is just so damn flaky. I don't know why I bother. I know I was once in a positive mindset where this stuff didn't bug me, but in this current state, I just feel hopeless and like I can't depend on anyone. How do I not allow this to kill my vibe any more than it already is? Look, whether people have legitimate reasons like family emergencies or they are super flaky, I would still recommend doing the following. Expect the worst and then plan for it. If you're booking six DJs, expect two of them to back out, which means adjusting the set times or opening the night a little bit later in the evening. Plan to have a second and third sound technician for your show. Back up DJ equipment just in case something doesn't work or somebody doesn't show up with what they said they were gonna show up with. Just like you're bringing more than one USB to a DJ gig. Plan for the worst case scenario and then do the next thing. Let go of the outcome. We can get really worked up about situations that we have absolutely no control over or we can just accept them and move on. Make the best of the situation. When you get really worked up, you get angry, you get upset, it becomes incredibly difficult to come up with solutions or even just enjoy the night. And here's the thing, some of the longest standing DJs and promoters have had some of the crappiest things happen during their travels, during a show, during a big special event or festival. And the interesting thing about that is that those are sometimes the best parties. So I really feel like it is just so incredibly important to expect the worst, plan for it, let go of the outcome, and keep your cool. I know that it's easier said than done, but if you are the type of person that gets super worked up if somebody cuts you off in traffic, or if someone didn't thank you for opening the door, then maybe it might be a good time to think about meditating and breathing and letting go of the outcome. Do yoga. I don't care. Just make sure that you can cope with whatever situation that happens because if you cannot handle somebody cutting you off in traffic, ooh baby, it's going to be real hard to deal with well, pretty much everything else that happens in life. I hope you found this Ask Kelma answer question answer helpful. Whew, it has been a long weekend in a short period of time. Got a lot of stuff done. And you know what? Had some of those family emergencies, some unexpected things happening, and this is why I just keep planning for people to not do the thing that they say that they're going to do because, well, one, I've been guilty of this as well. And a lot of the times it has to do with fear, procrastinating because we're worried and it's not personal and we're not trying to tick off other people. We're just in our own headspace. If we can lead by example and we can let those people know it's all good. I got three backups then suddenly they start to realize, hmm, hmm, this person seems to have it together and they're calm and, uh, oh, wait a second, they're, they're not working with me anymore because this is the third time I've flaked out on them. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> if you have any Ask Kelma questions, make sure that you hit me up on the media of social, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that jazz. Or my email. Yeah, I gotcha.